I'm Gary Stevens from Leaders in Travel, and we are on the beautiful River Royale in the south of France on the Burgundy Provence itinerary. Your nautical crew for this week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your organic team for this week. And of course, your waiters in this uh, Cezanne restaurant, uh, Thomas, uh, Jacob, Daniel, She's in charge of the Renoir Lounge. She's so nice that she never asks for any ideas. She's your bartender, Daniela, and he's your bartender, Daniela. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your Cezanne, the restaurant and Renoir Lounge. On behalf of the entire family of the River Royale, the 38 crew members, we would like to have a toast with you, and as we said in France, santé et bon voyage. What do you think makes river cruising so special? This is my first, and I'm loving every minute of it. So I'll start, I have something to say. It's intimate, it's warm, people get to know each other. They mingle easily, it's not like in a big... Uh, Ocean cruise where there are three thousands and they have a hard way finding their way back to their cabins here. It's very intimate. It's easy. Uh, they get to know the ship very quickly. It's a boutique hotel, so it's very comfortable and uh, it's friendly. There's a very friendly, relaxed atmosphere. It takes them one minute to get out of the ship to walk on the gangway. They see all the time uh, mountains, vineyards. I mean, there's something to look at, not like on the big uh, ocean cruises. And they mingle, and this is what they are here for. They want to make friends, they want to meet each other. It's all about connection, so here it's quite easy. In one week, you pass through three very interesting regions that are Rhône-Alpes, Burgundy, and Provence. So you get a very, very interesting sample. You go from big cities to small villages, medieval villages in the middle of nowhere, like Vivier this morning, Arles Avignon, famous uh, provincial cities with uh, Roman remains. So, there's a great combination of different uh, sites and different uh, sizes. Also in France we have the one that goes from Paris to Normandy, which is very, very appreciated. And by the way, that one, uh, the Normandy cruise, has the highest occupancy rate of the fleet. Because of the uh, history of the Second World War, we go to the landing area and that cruise is also offering a great sample of different uh, sites beaches of Normandy, but uh, Honfleur, which is a tiny fishing harbor, the most painted in the world because of the Impressionist. We go to Giverny, which is the place where Claude Monet, the leader of the Impressionist, lived and spent half of his year, of his life, sorry. So it's dedicated to the war, but to the Impressionist, and all our cruises are like that. They offer a great combination of uh, history, interest, uh, food. On that one, uh, we have an Epicurean dinner that we do not have on, on the Seine River from Paris to Normandy. On that one we have wine tasting. So each cruise offers its uh, own particularities. And we use everything which is typical from the area. I mean, you do not taste the same cheeses here than in Normandy. You are not going to get the same food on the Rhine Main Danube than here in France. So it's very different. What I'm noticing also that I think makes this a very special experience is the staff and the camaraderie that you have between each other. You're like family and you're also very funny. And I think it, your interaction with the guests makes the guests' experience all that much more memorable. Any reflections on that? We are yeah. all team. And as Emmanuel used to say before, it's not a big ship, so it's really like a family business. It's, we got to know each other, we got to know the life of each other very quickly. The personality of each other? The personality of each other. It's not like a 1,600 crew uh, where I used to work for, where you don't know everyone at once. You know, here, after a week, you know everybody. Uh, right now, it's the growing of the river cruising, which is challenging us. 
with the itinerary, to have the first place in the port, to have different tools. Uniwell wants to be uh, the first one somewhere where not all the buses are going. For example, the olive farm when we went on Saturday, it's a unique <coughs> area. So this is why we're looking for now to have unique experience for unique people who travel on unique. And that will separate you from the rest. Yes. And also we are implementing choices. A lot. There are many more options now than in the past. Guests can choose between uh, a choice working tour, a regular tour, a gentle working tour. Mm -hmm. There are more and more uh, options. And the industry, to your point, is booming. In the, in oh, the US, yes. it's, it's the high, all the art. Booming around the world. Booming yeah. around the world. Booming. Cruising on oceans and cruising on river cruising. Cruising is becoming very popular. It's very comfortable. It's fun. And you can be busy, you can be in bed and watch the scenery. You can choose to be active or passive. It depends on your mood, the weather. You can choose. It's comfortable. You don't have to pack and unpack. But I think the river cruising is much more exploding. Everyone in the US knows those huge big ships which looks like a floating building. Uh, now people are looking for this intimacy she was talking about. Looking for small ship, for ship docking all the time in towns. And not this huge package that you have to take or, or leave it, you know. It's, it's really your floating home away from home. Do you ever see the same passengers coming back, repeat? Yes, 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 absolutely. So yes, we have a lot of repeaters. And that's the best testament of all. Yeah. That they love yeah. them. That they and they talk them. about it. They talk about it and they spread uh, good words about us. And that's what I ask them at the end of each cruise to be our ambassadors, to speak about their experiences and the country and everything they did. And that works. Voila, voila. Voila. So come and join us <laughs> for an exciting time on board our ships.